Hello everyone, today we will be presenting our slides on the Fairmont Pacific Rim. On our team we have Owen, myself, Bethany, Anthony, Ella, Angelo, and Cloud. And within that we have our own individual titles. So we have the GM, Revenue Manager, Director of Sales, Director of Operations, and Director of Finance. For our agenda, we will start off with doing the introduction, then we will be talking about the property, which is the Fairmont Pacific Rim, and then we will be going into initial pricing strategies. Following that, we will get into competitive set, and then we'll start talking about our, our quarters, so quarters one to four, and finally, we'll end with the final results and conclusion. The hotel we chose was the Fairmont Pacific Rim, located in downtown Vancouver. Their mission statement is that our property invests in the development of both our employees and guests to offer authentic travel experiences and to promote sustainability and stewardship. The Fairmont Pacific Rim is a five-star business class property located downtown Vancouver. It is close proximity to the waterfront area as well as many restaurants, beaches, and other stores. It is a luxury hotel and it offers 300 rooms Half of them face the city and half of them face the pool. Some services included are international telephone service, laundry and dry cleaning. Facilities offered include pool and outdoor recreation space. For our initial pricing strategies, we used high price strategy, where we set up prices higher than the competitive sets. Because we are a five-star hotel, we have luxury amenities and facilities. That's why we set up a luxury price at first. And our customers focus based on both small and large groups, as well as luxury travelers. In terms of our competitive set, we have these potential competitors, which are a Western Wall Center, Marriott Pinnacle, JW Marriott, Pan Pacific Hotel, Shangela. Here is the perceptual price value map. Just to give a little bit idea of where we are at. And as you can see, JW Marriott is at the highest price rate. Whereas Fairmont Pacific, our hotel, is above the average. The lowest price rate is the Western Wall Center. For food and beverage rates, same again. JW Marriott and Pan Pacific is having the highest food and beverage rates, where our hotel was above the average. So for our first quarter results, um we can see that we are able to analyze our competitive set and we are able to look at the most successful competitor, which was the JW Marriott during this time. We are also able to monitor our prices versus the competition and we are also able to forecast the estimated number of guests. So coming up with the price point in the beginning, we assumed the price of a luxury hotel and how much it would cost. And so we can see in the results of quarter one, our rooms came up with around 739,000, which is around 63.72% of our total revenue, followed by food and beverage, which was around 85,000. So that's around 29%. And our other departments would be the remaining 7.27% of the total revenue. So as we dive further into details on the revenue and expenses of our property during the first quarter, you can see that unfortunately, we were unprofitable. Since you can see in the total revenue, we did make 911105 for the month of um, March. However, you can see that there's a huge cost of expenses and there's also the operating expenses and management fees and so for the month of march alone we already lost a negative one hundred ninety four thousand and twelve dollars and from year to date it would be negative five hundred thousand 
$535,797. Reason being, our price point versus our competitors, we were the most expensive and so guests wouldn't be booking with us and so our market share was quite low. Aside from that, we made a mistake in pricing one of our rooms, which also affected the results for our first quarter. So for quarter two, we decided to change in strategy. We lowered our room rates and reduced our expenses. We also looked at the most successful competitor, which was the Marriott Pinnacle during quarter two. And so for the month of May, you can see that for our revenues, we actually made 833,852 in rooms, which is around 88.14%. And for food and beverage, it's around 16248 which is around 1.72%. And for other departments, it would be 10.14%, which is 95965 So as we compare our total revenue from quarter one, we, have, we made a slight improvement, but it's not that much. So as we look into the details of our revenue and expenses for the second quarter, we can see that for our revenue, we did make a slight improvement when it comes to our total revenue. And for our departmental expenses, it's now lower for the total expenses. And for the total departmental profit, it's quite higher compared to the first quarter. Now, the major reason for our unprofitable quarter is still because of our high room rates and our high food and beverage um, prices as well. And so this is the major factor that, that has caused us to still become unprofitable. However, we did not lose as much as quarter one. And so this is already a slight improvement for us. And really what we found was that uh, it was just priced too high. Uh, so compared to the competitors, the price was significantly higher in pretty much every area. So what we did was we looked at the data and found that the Marriott had the most successful uh, quarters to date. And so really we just started price matching. So we went through rooms inventory, uh, food and beverage, and in every category, we just started price matching um, the most successful competitor just to try and uh, steal some business away and line up the prices more with the competition. So um, that did result in numerous price reductions. Um, but even though we reduced the prices, we actually ended up making a lot more money and it was the first profitable quarter. Um, even with these lower prices, because we then generated so much more business, that allowed us to then bring in a lot more profit. Um, Costs stayed relatively the same as well. They didn't really increase. So we were not only making more money, but we were not spending really any more money either. We ended with a net profit of $114,614. Um, year to date, of course, we were still uh, in the red just due to the losses from quarter one and quarter two. Um, but in every area, we ended up generating a profit uh, for quarter three because of this uh, new direction and this change in strategy. Um, so... This allowed us to start capturing some market share finally um, and really breaking into some places that we'd had difficulty before um, and uh, finally allowed the hotel to become profitable. Um, so this kind of informed our direction for the rest of uh, the, the year uh, just so that we could continue making this money um, and that it, it worked better to lower rates this way and then maybe gradually increase them rather than starting with really expensive rates right off the bat. Um, Especially as a new hotel, it's hard to attract people. Um, and with all of these competitors right on the scene at the same time, the simulation did kind of gravitate toward places that were priced a little bit better. And it's also hard to differentiate on RevSim um, hotel levels. So even though it was five star, the Pacific Rim, we had to compete more with every hotel um, on the simulation to capture the best uh, business share that we could. In the fourth quarter, we continue monitoring our competitors' price strategy, then set our hotel price. It is because the competitor analysts showed us a clear comparison and market trend. In general, we are satisfied with the above average performance. 
among competitors like achieving a targeted ADR, ref bar, and goal bar. For ADR, we are satisfied with the improvement of ADR this quarter ends. The ADR improvement comes from two factors, which is the increased amount of revenue generated from the selling of room and the room net sold. The ADR is an important guideline on rate strategy because setting the rates overpriced may shift our guests towards more affo affordable hotels. For the occupancy rates, fortunately, we could manage the occupancy index slightly higher than 100, which means our hotel capture more than the expected share in the final quarter. The occupancy index shows us that we are able to capture the largest market share of groups of clients and receive a favorable number of bookings from guests hosting in events and conference. However, when compared to the previous quarter, the, index, uh, the occupancy index dropped. As we purposely raised the room rate, ADR improved and performed slightly better than competitive sets but it also discouraged gas demand for our rooms, which pulls the occupancy down. When we had a lower occupancy rate, it also led us to a decrease in ref bar in the last quarter. However, we believe that the hotel is not just a place to sleep. There are other sources of revenue, such as food and beverage. When we look at the actual picture of the hotel's overall performance, we had a 50% increase in F&B, which help us to capture incremental revenue from departments other than the rooms. Meetings and events hosted in our hotel brought us a good performance in food and beverage and other revenue like uh, the audio rental and the decoration services. Apart from that, we lowered the price of F&B and aligned with other properties. As reflected in the financial reports, Guests welcome these discount prices and they are willing to spend more on food items. Although the income from selling the rooms was reduced as expected, the food and beverage performance was outstanding. Lastly, the food and beverage revenue increased by 50% in the last quarter while the total expenses were minimized in general. Hi. This slide will be analyzing our final results. So what we understood from the, our pricing strategy is like our pricing were too high at the beginning, like the first two months. So we were not able to earn more profit because our competitors was the two way too less. So they were having more business than us. So what happened is like after two months, we have changed our pricing strategy and we are able to earn some profits, which is same as in the food and beverage section. We were not at all earning any profit from that section, but when we have done a proper examining the strategy, what exa co competitors are using, uh, we are able to read it and we are able to earn profit from that section. Thank you. Hey, this slide will be concluding our overall project. So what we have understood is like we were able to earn profit from second quarter onwards and we were able to maintain a 0 0.3 in ROE that is 103 so it is three percentage higher than the 100 and revision software could not differentiate between the full service and what we mainly planning is to like more more concentrating towards advertisement so advertising can help to end more profit uh, then strategy change to line up with revision market behavior these are the main points that we understood from this project so thank you